the St. Paul Kirby Baptist Church Sunday service. Hallelujah. We gonna call Jesus and tell him what we want because we know he's on the main line. Come on, let's give him a hand. Come on, praise up here. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. We preach it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we've come to rejoice and be glad in it. For He is a great and mighty, wonderful God. For we need to glorify and worship Him right now in the name of Jesus. To our Facebook Live look, look watchers and listeners, YouTube watchers and listeners, email listening ministry, and to the St. Paul Prairie Baptist Church, we preach. 
you right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. For he is worthy to be praised. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Wait a For he's worthy. Represented by our Facebook live watchers. 
Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. YouTube watchers, email listening ministry, and Lord above all, the St. Paul Permanent Baptist Church families. We know that we're in trying and dangerous times now, but we, we're grateful and we're thankful to you, Lord, for keeping us. We thank you for protecting us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Those that are incarcerated today, Lord, we lift them before your holy presence, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Search their hearts and their minds, Lord, that uh, they may find remorse and repentance in their soul. Yes, Lord. Those that are in the hospitals that the doctors have given up on, Lord, we, we place them in your ever-loving care right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, Because we know, Lord, that you are a doctor that never loses a patient. Yes, Lord. The doctors have given up on some, have given up on me, Lord, but we know, Lord, that you're able. My Lord, my Lord. <laughs> you're able, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the power and authority over, over sickness and disease. We thank you for power and authority over the wiles of the wicked. Yes, my Lord. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Those that are in the nursing homes, Lord, we pray master lord you said in your words that we are to tend to the elderly and the widows yes, yes. comfort them right now in the name of jesus and we and lord we just want to continue to do what you've assigned our hands to do yes, lord. in the mighty name of jesus and lord we've come now and we need to hear a word from you right now at this moment this hour in this place have your way lord have your way lord God our Father, we thank you right now. Thank you, Master. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for enabling us the activity of our lives. We thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank, thank you. you for food on the table, roof over our heads. Glory to your name, God. We thank you right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We will forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. Now, Holy Spirit of God, we pray now that you come now and bless your people with your divine, holy, and inspired word that somebody may find their way from uh, the pits of giving up. Somebody will find their way out of despair. Somebody will find the direction, Lord, where they're at a crossroads in their life. Have mercy, Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus. Come now in the power of preaching that somebody's faith may be unlocked and unleashed in their lives. Yes, Lord. For you say that your word faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the word of God. Yes, How can they hear without the preacher? Yes, Lord. Come now, Holy Spirit. Speak now. Overshadow and take control of this vessel of clay that you created, shaped, and formed in your own image. It's still the essence of yourself. Have your way right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Speak through me and speak for me that your words will flow freely yes. from my lips. Right now, Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable into thy sight. For you are my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name. In all the people of God, say amen. amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Yes, amen. amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. It's just another day's journey. Yes, <laughs> I'm glad about it. Yes. He walks with me. He talks with me. And he okay. continues to tell me I am Damn. his own. Yes, yes, Come on, somebody. Yes, Amen. He is great and marvelous God. In my life. Uh, I want to say, I want to say to, to those of you that have sent in prayer requests that have received the answers to your prayers, we thank you. Thank you. Bless you. For entrusting the power, spirit, and presence of God that is connected to his word. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That he's enabled us to use by way of authorization. Bless you, Lord. That you're able to get what you asked for mm -hmm. 
from the Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, if you so desire to sow a seed into this ministry, feel free to do so. Amen. 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 We're grateful to each and every one of you for tuning in with us each and every Sunday. Amen. Right here on our Facebook Live broadcast, our YouTube broadcast, to our email listening ministry, and to the St. Paul Primitive Baptist Church members and family. Amen. Amen. The best is yet to come. Amen. 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 I want to call your attention again to uh, the second Samuel chapter 6. Hold your finger there. In Proverbs chapter 3. The conclusion to the series of sermons that the Lord has allowed us to bring to you. Over the past couple of Sundays, we want to bring this to a conclusion on today. Don't let the enemy steal the presence of God from you. Mm -hmm. All right. Second Samuel chapter 6, verses 10 through 12, coming to you from the God's Word translated Bible. And it reads, So David wouldn't bring the ark of the Lord with him to the city of David. Instead, he rerouted it to the home of Obedium, who was from Gath. The ark of the Lord stayed at the home of, of Obedium uh, for, from Gath for three months. And the Lord blessed, somebody say the Lord blessed. The Lord blessed. The Lord blessed Obedium and his family and his whole family. King David was told, the Lord has blessed Obedidim's home and everything he owned because of the ark of the God of God. And David joyfully went to get the ark of God from Obedidim's house and bring it into the city of David. All right. Uh, Psalms, Psalms, I said Proverbs, didn't I? It's Psalms, Psalms 37 and 4, my bad. Uh, Psalms number 37, verse number 4, uh, the King James Version puts it like this. It says, delight thyself, somebody repeat that, and delight thyself. Delight thyself. Also in the Lord. Also in the Lord. And he shall give thee. And he shall give thee. The desires of thine heart. The desires of thine heart. Translated by, translated Bible, God's word translated Bible says this, be happy with the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Yes, Amen. Look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I am delighted. I am delighted. At home. At home. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I am joyful. I am joyful. At home. At home. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Come on, give the Lord some praise. All right, all right, all right. I am joyful. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Joyful at home. Now, I, and, and as I looked at this, I meditated on this word and what God has been saying over these past couple of Sundays through His Word, through this this, this series of episodes that has taken place on the journey of the Ark of the Covenant. All right. Uh, the Ark of the Covenant was understood to be the presence of God among his people. Mm -hmm. When the Ark was present, the people knew God was with them. Uh -huh. uh, in, in, in this day and time that we're in, and uh, going through and still in the middle of the pandemic on a global level, uh, this, 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 this text, this message, a series of messages brought to my understanding and to the recognition of observation and study mm -hmm. that there is a problem with the people of God. Come on, Richard. And the problem is, the problem is that uh, 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 we have to understand uh, who God is in our lives. All right. 
And when the Philistines had stole the ark uh, and carried it away, they had no place in their hearts for the true God. And great tribulation came upon them because they had taken the ark of the presence of God from God's people. So they sent it back to the Israelites. Now, now, what you have to understand uh, is that God had given instructions on how the ark was to be handled. And if you don't understand it, you have to recognize and understand there are also instructions on how to handle God's house. Come on, somebody. When the ark, when the ark came back to God's people, they attempted to move it inappropriately, uh, which caused Uzzah uh, to, uh, to touch the ark and when he did he died well my brothers and sisters we have to be very careful in how we handle and deal with the things of god in this day and time we yeah. we have to understand and know that that if if you don't handle god's things and his business right come on somebody yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you can be assured that would get everyone's attention. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. When they, when they, other, when other died, everyone uh, 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 stopped and waited a minute. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. And, and when other uh, dropped dead after touching the ark, and, and and David, David got angry with God, and, and after getting angry with God, he immediately retracted his attitude and decided it might be best. Come on, somebody, <laughs> to, uh, uh, to wait a while, wait a while, and, and move the ark in a proper manner to a preferred place. Now, hang with me because I'm going somewhere with Come you. Come on, here, preacher. Uh, 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 because, because what David did, he found out uh, that there was a, there was a, 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 a young a man uh, nearby by the name of Obedidom. Uh -huh. So he decided that the ark was to be taken to the home of Obedidom. But I got a question for you. Uh, is your home open to the Lord? Come on, somebody. Uh, I, I shared with you just, just a moment ago that in this midst, in the midst of this pandemic, I found out that many folk have a problem with the Lord in the home. Come on, somebody. Found out that many people would rather they, they would rather uh, uh, wait and, 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 and do what they want to do before they allow God's presence into their lives. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? It's amazing because it, and it makes a lot of sense because a lot of folk don't want the presence of God in their house because they have too much food. Come on. Talk yeah. about yeah. it. Talk about yeah. it. Yeah, but yeah. it's one thing, one thing to worship God in, in the church on Sunday, but it's another thing altogether uh, yeah. to yeah. serve Him in your everyday affairs tell it, tell uh, at home. Come on, somebody. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Church, church folk and folk in the church who think they want God's presence uh -huh. can't receive Him because they don't understand God's holiness. Come on now. Uh, I'm going somewhere. Yeah. They play too loose uh, with God's truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so, so David, David here is gone now. And he went up to this man's house and spoke to him. And, and you can only imagine, uh, 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 imagine uh, this home may have been way out in the country somewhere and, and, and likely a change in route because the scripture says that he rerouted their, their, their direction. And when Obed and them heard the commotion and find out that he now he's standing face to face with the king of Israel, David himself. Come on here. Amen. Amen. David explained what had happened and then told Obedium that he wanted to leave the ark uh, in, in Obedium's house. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. now, now think about it. Think about it. Think about this for a moment. Uh, uh, let, let's say, let's say, let's say it, it, it's your house. They came to in this story. Ah, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, 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 you hear uh, that a man has just been killed for touching the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, uh, but the King of Israel is asking you to take this Ark into your house for an unknown period of time. Yeah, yeah. Come on, somebody. You know, you know, Abinadab had this day with him for 70 years and nothing happened in his life. Come on, somebody. Well, can, can you imagine? Can you imagine uh, uh, your wife? Come on, somebody. Uh, what she would say? Uh, I can just hear Angela right now in the back of my mind saying, "I don't mind, but 
I don't want you touching it and dropping dead. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. It, it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really go with the furniture. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Or the drape. And, and what if, what if Mill Abbey gets near it? Come yeah. on, somebody. Yeah. But yet it's still excited uh, at the same time to welcome God's presence in our home. Well, Come on, well, well, well. Uh, uh, you need to be joyful uh, at home in the, pres in the, pres in the presence of God. Yes, uh, and here, here was a man whose heart was right before God, uh, and, and the presence of God was not a threat to him, uh, and his presence is not a, his presence is not a threat to you or me. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was a delight. It was gratifying, exciting, and a pleasure. Uh, good God Almighty. Yes, uh, uh, and he really he he was totally comfortable living with God in the midst of his home. I see what the problem is because many don't want to really have a, a virtual services at home because it requires the presence of God to come in. Come on, come on somebody. On yeah. The Ark of the Covenant remained in, in the family of Obedidim in his house for three months. Come on, somebody. Yes, and the Lord blessed. Somebody say the Lord blessed. The Lord blessed, uh, the Lord blessed uh, uh, him and his family uh, yeah, with yeah. all that he had. Come, Come on, on, somebody. Yeah. Somebody look to your neighbor and say the blessings are on the way. The blessings are on the way. David heard heard about it. When he got the news, he got he, on, he, he got his heart right. Uh, and he got his heart right with the Lord and he joined obeying him in desiring the presence of God once again. Come yeah, on, somebody. Yeah. You remember, you remember on last week we talked about how David had gotten angry at God because uh, God didn't do things his way. Come on, yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah. But the problem was David didn't do things God's way. Uh, and, and he got mad about it, but he realized uh, who God God really is. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm about done now. I'm on my way out of here. Uh, uh, but I want you to know, don't let the enemy steal the presence of God from you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, because the presence of God can be one man's delight uh, yeah. and another man's death. Uh, yeah. and the presence of God can be one man's pleasure uh, and another man's plague. Right. Uh, the same presence of God uh, also results uh, in, in, this, in this series uh, uh, seven different responses. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 good luck for Israel. Uh, a plague for the, for the Philistines. It was boring to Abinadab Arrogant to Eric, arrogance to Uzzah, uh, anger to David, uh, biases to Michael, on, uh, yeah. but yet in Obedium it was excitement. Come yeah. on, somebody. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like preaching up in here. Yeah. Uh, there's a difference. There's a difference, and the difference must not lie with the object of God's presence, yeah. uh, but but it must lie with the heart of God's people uh, yeah. who are in contact uh, with the object uh, of God's pleasure. Yeah. I can't get no help up in here. Uh, mm. God Almighty. Uh, so I have a question for you today. Where is your heart? Uh, right. uh, do you just come on Sundays? Do you come on Sundays expecting to meet God? Uh, yeah. Will you turn on? Will you turn on uh, the virtual service? Uh, are, are you prepared to expect to meet God even virtually? Mm. Uh, but I got news for you. Uh, and in order to answer that question, uh, you have to answer a question, uh, and that is how carefully did you prepare this morning? Uh, how carefully did you prepare your heart uh, for entering into the presence of God? Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, God, go through the list, uh, and you can see the various responses. Uh, uh, to God's presence in the ark again, um, which fits you and find out which one fits you the closest. Uh, and if it don't line up with the last one, uh, you got a problem in your life. Uh, uh, good God Almighty, uh, could you, like the Israelites of old, uh, be hoping that God's presence will be a good luck charm? Uh, and if you go to church, uh, maybe God will bless your plans for your life. Uh, but I got news for you. Uh, blessings only come in the midst and presence of God. Uh, and maybe like the Philistines, uh, that God's presence uh, uh, make you uncomfortable. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, could there be guilt 
in your life because you never come to the cross of Jesus and ask him for pardon of your sins and to clean you up on the inside. All oh, your life, Abinadab, good God Almighty, God's presence in the church, the God Almighty, uh, is something uh, that does not affect you uh, in the least or the bit. Uh, because uh, it ain't nothing to you uh, but wow. another church service. Uh, good, good God Almighty, uh, stop by to tell you. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe it's like Uzzah, uh, who, was, who was too familiar with God. Uh, wow. Good God Almighty, uh, and I stop by to tell you. Uh, and you treat uh, that which is sacred uh, oh, as a commonplace. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, and go through uh, over familiarity, uh, and you lost your sense uh, yeah, of awesomeness uh, toward the things of God. Uh, you lost your sense uh, of awesomeness, uh, oh Lord, toward uh, the presence of God. Uh, yeah. Good God Almighty, uh, yeah. or maybe uh, you got an attitude like David had. Uh, we wanted God's presence, uh, uh, but when you got a glimpse uh, of His absolute holiness, uh, you drew back and uh, unsure. Uh, you wanted to be that close to God, uh, to God Almighty. Uh, that's what the Bible says: uh, Humble thyself, uh, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Uh, to God Almighty, uh, draw nigh to Him, uh, and He will draw nigh to you. Uh, or maybe you like Macau, uh, good God Almighty, uh, who just wanted uh, to be a spectator, uh, who doesn't believe in getting too fanatical uh, about the worship of God. Uh, or maybe you like Macau, uh, who just wanted to be a spectator, uh, who doesn't believe uh, in getting uh, uh, too excited, uh, oh Lord, uh, about the worship uh, and the praise of God. Uh, good God Almighty. But I've got news for you. Uh, maybe you like a better than my uh, Lord. Uh, and you welcome the presence uh, of the living God uh, into your home uh, and in your life. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, and that is resulting uh, in great blessings for you uh, and your whole household. Uh, see what the problem is. Uh, God Almighty. Uh, you really don't want God's uh, presence in your home uh, and you wonder why uh, you have so many problems uh, in your life uh, you don't want God's uh, presence uh, in your home uh, because uh, you can't drink like you want to uh, you don't want the presence of God uh, in your home uh, because uh, you can't gamble like you want to uh, you don't want the presence uh, of God uh, in your home uh, because you fornicate too much. Oh, God Almighty, living in adultery all along. And you want to know why you got problems in your life. Yeah. Just like the Philistines, you don't know the, the holiness of God. Yeah. And you don't know who God is really in your life. Oh, I stop by to tell you, you're just like a Philadelphia. Yeah. God's riding with you. Uh, yeah. And you don't even recognize uh, the presence of God uh, in your life. Uh, oh, yeah. God Almighty, uh, hold on. Uh, stop by to tell you. Uh, do you come, oh Lord, uh, to the church uh, expecting to meet with God? Uh, oh Lord, uh, and to experience His presence. Uh, do you come uh, before the Lord, uh, oh Lord? Uh, no matter what where you are uh, expecting uh, to experience uh, his presence yes, Lord. oh Lord in the house of God uh, oh Lord I stop by to tell you today uh, yeah, don't let oh Lord you need me uh, feel the presence of God for you uh, you need to be delighted and joyful uh, exciting and pleasurable uh, and exciting and moving uh, that God is in your life uh, oh. God Almighty, so what you say, Pastor, uh, because uh, when you let the presence of God yeah. in your life, uh, you can develop uh, an effective witness.
is good God Almighty and obey them. Good God Almighty, He left behind testimony. How wonderful it is to have God in your heart and in your home. Obey them, left behind a testimony of how important it really is to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind. Oh, yeah! Stop, I'll tell you, uh, he left behind a testimony uh, how joyful it is uh, to serve the Lord. Uh, songwriter said, this joy I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Uh, oh, Lord, he left behind a testimony uh, that faithfulness to God can touch uh, good God Almighty. Uh, my many family uh, and extended family. Uh, but oh yeah, uh, the, the faithfulness to God uh, can touch uh, the immediate and extended family uh, for eternity for all the days. Uh, but I stop by tell you uh, it all begins with a commitment uh, to God allowing the presence of Jesus into your heart and then into your house. The God Almighty's and that is the place where you live every day. Not just on Sunday but thank the Lord He lives in my house. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And oh, on Sunday morning we can worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. I'm so glad, so glad we are being prepared to rule and reign with Jesus when he comes back. The God Almighty, the God, and this is why we must be trying over and over again. We must be trying over and over again. Go, the God Almighty, to get out of us all that is not of him uh, so we can be uh, entrusted uh, with the power uh, authority uh, and glory of God uh, God Almighty uh, stop to tell you uh, that the good thing about God is uh, we don't have to wait uh, to be anointed uh, God Almighty uh, to be used uh, for his purpose uh, God Almighty uh, and we must not uh, go Lord uh, find, uh, we must find a place uh, to let his glory uh, shine through us uh, and it'll begin to shine uh, if you allow the presence of God uh, in your home uh, good God of my don't let uh, the enemy uh, steal the presence of God uh, from you uh, because uh, I want you to know uh, you gotta find uh, good God of my uh, the right uh, geographical place uh, where you will uh, be able to fulfill uh, the will of God uh, for your life. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, I want you to know uh, we are the carriers uh, of His glory. Uh, because in everything uh, that we do, uh, God gets uh, yes, glory. Uh, yes, and now is the time uh, to release God's glory uh, oh, and divine man. presence uh, into the hearts uh, of those uh, He's been preparing. Uh, look to your neighbor yes, uh, and tell your neighbor. He's preparing me uh, for something uh, I cannot handle uh, right now. Uh, I'm so glad, so glad, uh, I'm so glad, oh Lord, uh, I wanted the enemy uh, still God's presence uh, from me. Uh, one day, uh, soon and very soon, uh, the kind of glory, uh, the all fullness uh, of God's holy presence, uh, the Shekinah glory uh, of God. Is going to fall upon his chosen. The God Almighty. Yes, and these are the harvesters of the kingdom. The God Almighty. Look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor I'm working on my harvest. Over there, 
You know what you're harvesting in yes, the, the fruit of the spirit. Uh, yeah, uh, he's gonna harvest. Uh, I'm gonna have a full harvest of love, uh, a full harvest of joy, uh, a full harvest of peace, uh, a full harvest of patience, uh, a full harvest of gentleness, uh, and a full harvest of goodness, uh, a full harvest of faithfulness, uh, and a full harvest of kindness. Uh, and I'm gonna be so glad uh, my harvest uh, is gonna be so full uh, that I have to. Us, uh, to hold on, uh, to have uh, the right attitude uh, in everything we do for Christ Jesus, uh, for God Almighty, uh, for we are the sons of God, uh, God Almighty, uh, and we are to be seed planters, uh, for God Almighty, uh, to bring in uh, a great harvest uh, to all mankind. Uh, don't let uh, the enemy uh, steal the bread of God uh, from you. Uh, after a while, uh, in the great by and by, uh, yeah. it'll all be over. Uh, yeah, uh, I want you to know. Yeah. Uh, and when it's over, uh, when Jesus will say, uh, Come on up uh, to bright glory, uh, thou good and faithful servant. Uh, you fought a good fight, uh, you finish your course. Uh, come on up uh, to bright glory. Uh, I have a crown uh, of on, life yeah. for you. Uh, there's a reward uh, yeah. on the other side. Yeah. The enemy still the presence of God. My God, my God, From my you. God. Oh, Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. Worthy. To be brave. Come on, give the Lord a hand up for brave. Go ahead. Give me. Give me the presence of God. From you. Saints, you have to recognize. One of the biggest problems that Israel had in handling God's presence with them. They, they tried to do it the world's way. They tried to do it the world's way. Kind. God becomes too common to us. We need to recognize the power of God and the power of His holiness in our lives. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Make the right response to the presence of God that your days may be long. My Lord. He will give you the desire of your heart. Yes, He will. Yes, He will. He is that kind of God. Yes, He is. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Yes, Lord. Amen. Don't let the enemy mm -hmm. steal the presence of God mm -hmm. from you. My Lord. The saints, he's doing it all over the land and the country. So many people are distracted, caught up by things of this world. When all we have to do is just wait upon the Lord and everything will be all right. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Tell them about our Father, we thank you right now. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for an opportunity, Heavenly Father, that we are able to continue each and every day of our lives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to welcome your presence into our home, into our family. Lord, we thank you for the abundant blessings that you have bestowed upon us right now in the name of Jesus. We pray, Master, that, that all those are under this ministry, Thank that are listening or connected. Thank you, Lord. We Thank pray you. right now, manifold blessings on every home and every family right That's now. Right now Jesus. Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, that your presence would enter into their homes and remain. That those things that are unlike you would be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help us now, Master. Hallelujah. We need you. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your death, burial, and resurrection. That because of you, by grace, we are saved through faith. We trust you. We love you. But above all, we believe who you are in our lives. Heavenly Father, we pray that this word has fallen on fertile soil today. Thank you, Lord. Pray that it takes root, spring forth, and bring good fruit. We break up the stony grounds. We, we hedge out the thorns. 
thistles. We hit out those things that can be carried away. We ask that, we ask Master that, that you pause the wind of people's life, that your word may fall into the soil of their life. Yes, Lord. That it may be not carried away by wind, every wind and every doctrine. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we love you so much. My God. My God. Keep us, Master, in perfect peace and love. In Jesus' name. In name Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on, give the Lord some praise.
And of Amen. course we know that service is never over until the last is given. So come on and let's give it and give it together. Amen. Then the deep. 